Hello everyone. Welcome to Epson service training class. I'm a service engineer at Epson. This class is to bring you to a demonstration of replacing IMD, which is the four in one pixel. Repair tools include heat gun, soldering iron, which is a pointed tip, marker, pointed tweezers, flat head tweezers, solder wire, and solder paste, and anti-static bracelet, First of all, mark the bad pixel before repairing. We can start to proceed to remove the pixel now. When removing the pixels, we need to pay attention to flat tweezers to clamp it, twist around. It's important to note that you don't want to wiggle too much, otherwise it will affect the surrounding pixels. After removing the pixels, we need to clean the pad with soldering iron. Because when the pixels is removed, solder will remain on the PCB pad. After cleaning the pad, we need to use tweezers to put solder paste to pixel pad. We recommend to use medium temperature solder paste since it has a lower melting point. Next, we can put a new pixel. Pick up a new pixel and put it at the right position. We need to make sure to keep the pixel direction same as the surrounding pixels. Use the heat gun to weld from surface directly. The air gun I'm using now is the Gaudi 952. Adjust the wind speed to second gear, temperature to 295 degrees, also can be adjusted accordingly. The total welding time is about one minute. With the solder, is completely melted, use tweezers to press down gently. Toggle the pixel back and forth a little bit. When the pixel back to the exact position, the welding process is completed. After five minutes of cooling, the module can be tested. If there is a lack of color or any other issues, etc., resolder will be needed. If red, green, blue, and white scan are all good, then the repair has completed successfully. This demonstration of the 4-in-1 pixel repair has been completed. Were these steps clear for you?